Welcome to the Interval Zero video overview of RTX64. In this video, we will tour RTX64 components, highlight key features and tools, and show how the RTX64 SDK integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Visual Studio. Interval Zero's RTX64 transforms Windows into a real-time operating system. It can scale from 1 to 63 cores for dedicated real-time processing. RTX64 is a key component of the Interval Zero RTOS platform that also includes x86 and x64 multi-core multiprocessors and the Windows operating system to outperform real-time hardware such as DSPs and MCUs and reduce the development costs for systems that require determinism or hard real-time. The RTX64 runtime contains several key features and tools which are available from the start menu following installation. RTX64 components must be activated with a valid license before they can be used. Use the RTX64 activation and configuration utility, which appears immediately after program installation, for initial RTX64 product activation and configuration, to activate and lock your product to a specific machine or to an Interval Zero provided dongle. The RTX64 subsystem requires dedicated processors for real-time processing. On the Configure page, you can assign available processors to Windows or RTX64. The activation utility automatically detects the total number of processors on your system, along with the number of processors you are licensed to use for RTX64. The RTX64 control panel provides a number of settings that let you determine how the subsystem, RTSS applications, and RT TCP IP stack, if purchased, behave. It also allows you to view information specific to your product version, access product documentation, and launch the analyzer utility. Note that some settings in the control panel require Windows administrator privileges. Content on the home page is organized in two distinct columns. On the left side are options for configuring different system behaviors, while the panel on the right displays product information as well as licensing information for the components you have purchased. If you have a license for the installed component, it appears in black. If it is not licensed, it appears in gray. A dongle icon indicates that the component is licensed to an Interval Zero provided dongle. If you hover over the dongle image, you can view the dongle serial number. You can start and stop the RTSS subsystem and RT TCP IP stack, if purchased, directly from the home page. The current status of the subsystem is displayed in the Start Stop box. The RTX64 control panel provides several options for configuring the RTSS subsystem. You can change internal system behavior, set memory allocation behavior, configure the RTSS watchdog timer, and choose a method for handling exceptions. The control panel also provides several options for configuring the RT TCP IP stack, which is a separate purchasable component. You can configure stack behavior, boost performance, and manage interfaces and filters. Note that these options will not be available if the RT TCP IP component is not activated. You can add, delete, set properties for, and associate filters with RTX64 interfaces from the Manage Interfaces and Filters control panel page. Note that the stack comes with a virtual network interface that allows for network communication between Windows and RTSS on the same system with no dedicated hardware. The RTX64 Task Manager allows you to view, start, or end any active RTSS process or Windows process linked to RTX64 on your system, whether started by Task Manager or with the RTSS Run Command Line utility. Windows processes linked to RTX64 are unmanaged processes that make calls to the real-time interface RTAPI or managed processes that use the Interval 0.RTX64 interface to communicate with RTSS processes. To start a process, you can either choose a recently run process from the Open dropdown or click the Browse button and navigate to the RTSS file or .exe file you want to run. When you run a real-time application, RTX64 server appears. It displays and logs print messages from all running RTX64 applications and RTDLLs. The Latency View tool displays a visual comparison of latency between Windows cores and RTX64 cores. 
System timer response latency is measured as the total time from when a subsystem timer interrupt sends a signal to when that signal is recognized by software running in an interrupt service thread, IST. Latency is made up of hardware latency, the time it takes for a signal to be recognized by an interrupt service routine, ISR, and software latency, the time it takes from ISR to the routine running in IST. System Response Time Measurement, or SRTM, is the command line version of latency view for a single processor. There are two supplied versions, one for the Windows environment, SRTM.exe, the other for an RTSS environment, SRTM.RTSS. The RTX64 CPU usage utility displays CPU usage information for all RTSS cores on the system. By default, the utility generates data every 3 seconds, frequency, for 30 seconds, duration. The frequency and duration values are configurable. You can run CPU usage from the Start menu or from RTSS Run. Note that running the RTX 64 CPU usage utility may cause latencies since it requires the collection of internal information from the RTSS scheduler. The RTX 64 Objects utility displays information about RTSS processes and their associated objects, such as events, semaphores, and loaded RTDLLs. You can run RTX 64 Objects through a command prompt from this location. As with the CPU usage utility, the RTX 64 Objects utility may cause latencies when run. The RTX 64 SDK includes header files, libraries, sample programs, and Microsoft WinDebug and Visual Studio support, which integrates seamlessly with the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE to provide a powerful and familiar development and debugging environment. The RTX 64 SDK provides two templates in the Templates Visual C++ branch of the new project window in the supported versions of Microsoft Visual Studio. One for creating a project and solution for the development of RTX 64 applications, and another for RTX 64 real-time dynamic link libraries, RTDLLs. To select the template you want to use, provide a name and click OK. For this video, we'll create an RTSS application. The RTX 64 template is a single page dialog that displays the default project settings and provides optional application and program settings. To accept the current settings, click Finish. Or you can specify other options and libraries that you want to include in your RTX 64 application project. The template can also provide a basic C or C++ program framework with which to work. This program framework can include RTX 64 program elements which contains C or C++ code to create RTX 64 objects and demonstrate their use. For example, we'll start with source code for a periodic timer thread. Here you can see that the wizard has generated some code for us to start with. RTX 64 provides a collection of code snippets that can be inserted where you need them in your code. To insert a snippet, place your cursor where you want the code inserted, and then right-click and select Insert Snippet or use Ctrl plus K. Then select the Interval 0 Snippet folder and the snippet you'd like to insert. RTX 64 adds four build configurations to Visual Studio when you create a project using the RTX 64 application template. Select the appropriate configuration to build a debug or release RTSS application. Using configurations, you can build a Windows and RTX 64 version of an application without having to make any code changes. You build an RTSS application the same way you would build a Windows app, by selecting Build Solution from the Build menu. You can also debug an RTSS process or RTDLL in Visual Studio. When you create an RTSS application with the RTX 64 application template, new Interval Zero real-time debugger options are added to Visual Studio. The real-time debugger is automatically selected when the RTSS debug configuration of the project is chosen. Here we'll add a breakpoint to our code and press F5 to start debugging. The RTX 64 SDK also installs several sample projects to help get you familiar with building RTSS applications. 
These are available from this directory following installation of the SDK. The RTX 64 runtime includes a monitor utility which allows you to trace the behavior of your real-time applications by recording significant events that occur during execution of those applications. The events are written to disk where they are grouped into sessions. You can then use the Tracealyzer tool, which is included with the RTX 64 SDK, to view and analyze monitoring session data output by the monitor utility. See the RTX 64 Monitor and Tracealyzer video available on our website for a more focused look at this functionality. This concludes our overview of RTX 64. For more information, see the product documentation installed with the RTX 64 product and available online at www.intervalzero.com. Thanks for watching.